you know what? I'm gonna die. That run, walk, you took me out. Look, we went out and we did our best. Woo. That was a nice, nice short warm up. Warm up? Yeah. Why do you think we only ran for a short time? Look, only thing short on that run was you. Just because y'all are related to half giants doesn't make me short. I'm the normal size for a man. <laughs> you know what? Eat your food. We're going to the gym after this. Is Asha looking for current change? No, why? Because you're a comedian, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Eat your food. Food. I will go wash this dry sweat off our face. Right. Got me over here looking like a dying racehorse. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm, I'm about to say this. Uh, Wake up, mother! Do you know how to knock? Who do you think you are, the FBI? You gonna try to patrol the way I open the door now? Good morning, Trent. Uh, where's Chris? Chris! He's at work, but what we're focused on right now is how you don't know how to knock on that door. I've been doing that since college. I ain't about to change now. If you haven't noticed, Mac, this is not college. Like I said, I ain't gonna change now. I'll knock when they lock. Deal. What you eat? Ooh, that look good. You know the house rules. There's food in the fridge. Help yourself. Don't want to fuck you. <laughs> Mackenzie! Thank you, Trent Dog. Wait. How do you know that name? You remember that time you came to the office and there was that it, I mean, paperwork? <laughs> You know you're not allowed to talk about that. Hmm, I'm not breaking any HIPAA laws or any HIPAA violations. So, blackmailing? I am a kind, loving, gentle soul. Here you go. But come between me and my plate without any invitation, they're going to be calling this crime scene the Black Marlin. Don't call me McKenzie. Only my mama calls me McKenzie. Stay on my plate, we'll have an issue. Mac. Thank you. <laughs> Kinsey. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get ready to go to the gym. Jamo! Oh, get off! Oh, I see you back in town, Mac! <laughs> yeah. For a night. Oh, it's good to see you, man. You too. Hey, I just got a new car. It's got a it's got an engine, it's got gadgets and doodads, and women love it. It's so shiny. It's good. Is that all you know about your car? Yeah. But alright, come here. Yeah. No, 1.3 million for three years. No, I think I should be a free agent. I'll tell you, man, sky's the limit. I told you I got you. Yeah. I just gonna leave your trash everywhere, man. Yeah. Hey, I thought you said Chris was at work. He is. Let me call you back. So if Chris is at work, Trent left. You brought a girl home last night? I'm so proud of you, man. Wait, why she in the back? She ugly, trying to hide it from the world? She got a beard. Third nipple? I know you're a freak. Tell me what it is. You'll never catch who's in the back. Is it Trina? Melina? Latoya? Katrina? One of the three cams. Ashley? Rashida? All right, damn, Max, calm down. <laughs> hey, it's one of the girls from the ice cream pub. <laughs> you're never gonna guess. For real, who is it? <laughs> Hey Trent, after Super Jock kills you at the... Oh shit! Hildebars! I ain't seen you in forever, man! Oh, ain't that's the other one. Why, why are you here? Wait, why is he here? It's a long story. I'll tell you later. Hi, Mac. What's Trent? Um, he actually got called into work. He said he'll call you here in a little bit. Alright, well I guess I'll just have to catch an Uber. I need to go get some shampoo and get a transfer car for the rest of your dirty pics. Dirty pics, that's my boy. <laughs> I told you there's no dirty pics, man. If you say so. Hey, I haven't seen you since uh, you got in a fight with Bryce from the basketball team. Yeah, and he's a wild boy, man. He's messing with uh, Keisha. I wonder yeah, what he's up to now. Well, 
after high school, we met up in college, got married, now we're divorced. What? No, seriously? Yes. Wait, you got in a fight with your ex-husband before he was your husband? That's hilarious. I guess you could say we had a rough relationship. <laughs> rough relationship? <laughs> yeah. Rough. But we fought, fought it to the bitter end, I guess. So would that make you the Rough Rider? <laughs> Shut up, Josh. <laughs> but you know, I can give you all the juicy details if you want. Oh, no, no, we good, we good, we cool, we cool. That's fine. I care what you do. All uh, right, I got to get out of here. Uh, hey, Mac. So this one time I was on the stairs. Ah, oh, come on, man. Not funny. All right, I gotta go. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, freak. Um, this is a little funny. Ooh. I need to. What am I missing? You're. Are you you're leaving? Your wallet? Your keys? No, I need to go to the store, to the tax office. Amber. All right. Amber. Amber Card. Would you like me to take her a sandwich? Yeah. No. You just. Bye, Josh. Hi. Bye. Wait. Isn't Amber the girl that I was in love with in high school? Yeah, same girl. <laughs> but didn't she, uh... Hate me with an intense, feral ferocity <laughs> that no one could ever explain? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Problem is, she's a teacher now. So? So are you. No, I'm a substitute teacher. Come on, man. Don't talk about yourself like that. Trust to teach people, too. <laughs> man, it's not what I mean. I don't get to stay at the same school all the time. So what's your point? The point is, for some reason, she hated me in high school, and now that I work with her sometimes, I get so nervous when I talk to her, I say something incoherent. When have you ever been coherent? I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah? Last week... The school hired a taco truck for Teacher Appreciation Day. Go. Yeah. And there she was. Absolutely stunning. Her smile shined brighter than the sun. Her head cocked ever so slightly. And when our eyes caught gaze... You are a sister. Tacos are great for Tuesdays! Yeah, that's about the exact same reaction I got from her. What is wrong with me? That is way too much to unpack right now. But let's uh, stop talking about your love life. And, uh, let go! Where are we going? Oh, uh, UCLA. Yeah, apparently there's a second string quarterback who's a real gym. Doesn't get a lot of playing time though. Let's check him out. Let me get dressed. Um, nah, if you get dressed, you probably look worse. Just come on. Sure. What's so hot? Josh? Chris? Anybody? Matt? Everybody's gone. So quiet. So quiet. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. It's so quiet, so quiet for me. Oh, so quiet. And I'm finally gonna get some sleep. Gonna get some sleep. Gonna get some sleep. Gonna get some sleep. And I spoke too soon. That's your brain. Hey, I'm telling you, man, that kid's got some potential, but he gotta get off the bench, man, get some experience. He didn't have a rocket for an arm. What if he doesn't get the experience? He might have to trade schools or hope the other guy gets hurt. <laughs> hey, enough about work. What's going on tonight? What are we doing? Nothing. I've got way too much work to do. No, this is your city. You're my wingman. What are we doing? Nothing. Like I said, I've got work. I ain't got nothing to do. Uh, 
I said I need a wingman, not a winged man. No thanks. And you're not fine. What, you can take a dick, but you can't take a joke? <laughs> you can find the fridge, but you can't find the G spot? I got him! <laughs> sure. Hey, at least that's what Monica said in high school. Oh, 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 oh. She lying. She lying. She's a liar. She lying, Josh. What else she say? Good afternoon, Principal Friesman. How may I help you? Josh, the pleasure's all mine. I'm calling in regards to Mr. Nguyen's classes next week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually just about to start working on that right now. Where is my bet? Good. It seems that Mr. Nguyen's freak accident is going to have him out a little longer than we had expected. Freak accident? Uh, yeah, no details at this time. Um, it's an ongoing investigation. But don't worry. They say his heart's gonna be fine. I thought he fell off a ladder. He did fall off a ladder. Into a pool. That had a live wire in it. The live wire electrocuted him and stopped his heart. Are you serious? As a heart attack. So, we're gonna need you to cover his classes. It's gonna have him out for a whole month. Are you kidding me? Mr. Fields. I did not go to clown school, so therefore I am definitely not kidding you. Now, if you don't want this assignment, I'm sure I can find someone else. No, 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 I'd be more than happy to come in. I, I, I'll be there. Good, good, good. One more thing. Scotty Who and... Who is Scotty? Excuse me. Mr. Nguyen and Miss Carp worked closely on their AP classes together. So I'm gonna need you and Miss Carp to get together sometime and figure out a lesson plan going forward. That sounds good to me. Good, good. I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Okay, see you bright and early. I'm telling you, man, she's lying. None of that is true. She's lying. She's making all that up. For sure. I don't know, Max. She's pretty descriptive. She said you had a birthmark of a moon-shaped crest on the back side of your... Stop! She's lying. She's lying. It's not real. She's lying, Josh. Look, man. I don't know. What are you getting into tonight, though? I'm trying to go out. What y'all doing? I've got work to do. I'm actually trying to find my laptop right now. Lame, 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 lame. I'm actually going to a party. Oh, makes sense. That's why you keep changing. Yeah, I was invited to this exclusive club reopening. Have a plus one. Who invited you? Stephen Braxton. Who? This guy I met at the Quickie Mart. Who? Passion fruit, you damn hoot owls. Oh, him. <laughs> You yeah. big old nasty. <laughs> How'd you get the tickets? I did a job from the other week just to make some extra cash, and he gave me the tickets as a thank you. I bet you did a job for him. <laughs> Shut up, you flying monkey. <laughs> Look, Wicked Witch of West Hollywood, I'm just joking. <laughs> Wait, is this a mandate? Mac! <laughs> Which one of y'all be a mandate? Come on, you can tell me. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> But no, we just go and have a good time. Look, I ain't trying to go to a gay club. It's not a gay club, it's an everyone club. We did a gay club the other day. Josh, we. Is this something you need to tell me, sweetheart? Yes. You missed Chris's birthday party last week. Oh, it was I amazing, by the way. I missed Chris's birthday. Goodbye. Damn. Well, as I was saying, Ladies get in before 1 a.m. and there will be plenty to choose from. Okay, well that's a step in the right direction, but how does that help me? 
Ladies get in before 1 a.m. Plenty to choose from. It's one thing a gay man can do is pull straight women. I call BS on that. No, it's true. While most straight guys are running around hooping and hollering, trying to talk to every woman in the club, they don't realize that they see this. Okay. Gay men don't have to chase straight women. We go, we laugh, we joke, we have fun, and we add to their vibe instead of taking away from it. Okay. Can you talk to him? Cause it's like talking to a brick wall. Dude, like I can attest to this. Like last week when we were at the club, before the beatdown. Beatdown. Yeah. We had so much more company than than we went with. It's crazy. It's like they have some sort of warm light that attracts all women. It's like opposites attract. Look. Gay man can pull straight women. Hell, I can pull more women than you. Yeah, that's not true. I don't believe that. Why don't y'all go together? Yeah. Put your money where your mouth is. You know what? I'll go. But the first sign of an iceberg, I'm abandoning this ship. Bet. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm going to go to the store since y'all are getting this whole freaking bet going on. So you mean to tell me, <laughs> Max Sauce and Marcus is going out to the club tonight? <laughs> That's juicy. So look, you know what I like, Josh? Give me something to drink extra strong. Maybe a shot, because I'm going to need it after this, child. <laughs> okay. Boop. Oh, Denise, don't try it. All right, because you can get the... Damn, Denise, girl. I need me an extra shot for this shit. Ooh. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. It's you. Um, hi, Amber. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Fields. No sandwich tonight? Um, I can get you a sandwich if you want a sandwich real quick. It won't take no, I minute. will never want a sandwich from you. Um, Amber, I have a question. No, thank you. It's about the study guide for next week. So, I'm covering the Mr. Nguyen's class, and I know that you work close with him with your AP class, and I was wondering if we could get together sometime this week and maybe go over the study guide, maybe over dinner or something? There it is. I would respect you so much more if you would just ask me to dinner because then I could just say no and be done with it. But now I'm irritated because you tried to be slick and you're delaying my grocery shopping trip with your stupid little pursuits of flesh. Pursuits of flesh? I know exactly the type of man you are. Okay, you no sense of humility. You graduate from being a high school football star captain to being a mediocre college football player and now you're a substitute teacher. You just want to relive the glory days. It's actually kind of satisfying to know that you and your buddies half-assed high school and now college, and now you live on microwave meals. I just wish you guys had actually gotten kicked out from the baseball team and just the entire school. I didn't play baseball. Whatever. All you jocks get the same special treatment. What special treatment? You jumped my best friend because he was gay. He got kicked out, and you didn't. You ruined his teenhood. And you know what? You ruined my shopping trip. Ugh. Amber, I didn't... Amber, wait. Amber, can I help you? Dude, that is Miss Carp to you! Ugh. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Work. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
y'all have fun? Hey, hey, I take back everything I said earlier. It was magical. I'll tell you that little Disney princess everywhere. Oh, Magic. man. Did y'all find a unicorn? Wait, 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 wait. Why would single man need a unicorn? Oh, that's not what you were talking about. Hey, darling. Hey, I, I did find a unicorn. Look, and his name is my gay friend Marcus. And his power is bringing girls to the VIP section. No. It's just Marcus, baby. I just happen to be gay. <laughs> but it's just Marcus. I think. <laughs> right. Hey, I'm going to call him the Colonel. Because whenever he around, all I see is breasts, legs, and thighs. <laughs> what? I'll allow it. <laughs> so look, picture this, right? It's just me and him. We just sitting down chilling, having a good time. We got some drinks or whatever. And then this group of girls just walks up and asks us, what y'all drinking? And so you know me. I'm going to say the most expensive thing I can think of. Jiggies. They, they was alright. But the point is, they took us out to the dance floor. We had a great time. It was just a bunch of them. When we all dancing, we all having a good time. We, we moving, right? We grooving. We grooving. We getting it. We getting it. And then a whole nother group of girls come. And then look, a whole nother group of girls come. And then we dancing and we jigging, right? And it's just me and all these girls. Because I look up and Marcus went back to the table. So I gotta keep going. I'm jigging. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, right? So we all go back to the table, and then they give us a whole VIP section, because it's just so many of us. He was like a rooster. <laughs> cock a doo -doo. <laughs> Go to bed, Marcus. Who's the winged man now? <laughs> go to bed, Marcus. Yes, mom. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Oh, man. man, I'm glad y'all had a good time. Look, you can get some sleep, too, and I'll see you in the morning. I gotta get back to my lesson plan, okay? Sleep? I'm not going to sleep. I was just making sure old junkie drunk was straight. Lies! What? You know, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. <laughs> hey, that's your friend. Hey, but this rooster's got to get back to the hen house. You feel me? <laughs> Have a good night, man. Wait, there's, there's girls. Where? Oh, that's right. I got a whole Uber full of girls downstairs right now. There's an Uber full of girls downstairs. Oh, yeah. That's let, me, uh, let me grab my coat. No, no, no. no. You got to work. I can take a break. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't stress yourself. Have a good night, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, you fired as a wingman, by the way. <laughs>